So today in Trailmakers, I'm going to be searching for my name in the Steam Workshop and see just what happens to show up. I thought it'd be fun just to see what we discover and what ends up happening when we spawn in creations that are somehow attached to my name or relevant to my name for whatever reason. Now, I did do this in the Scrap Mechanic a little while ago, and I got a ton of requests to do it in Trailmakers as well. So congratulations, today is the day. So fortunately, Trailmakers actually has a built-in Steam Workshop search, so I don't even have to tab out of the window or anything. So I'm just going to type in Scrap Man, and uh, I'm going to scroll through, and we're going to see what shows up in my name for whatever reason. And let's go for... I'm just going to... Let's just try the first one. We're just going to start with the first one. These are apparently the newest ones too. Well, we can sort by newest popularity and stuff like that. All right. So here's why this one showed up. He says, hi, Scrap Man. Love your vids in the description. So thank you. Thank you for watching. So this is Stunt Car by Testable Storm 66 Let's see how many stunts this car can pull off. All right. Here it is. This thing looks like... It looks like a toy car. Like, the dimensions are very, like, toyish. All right, we have just WASD in space. All right, oh, this thing is not built for dirt. Eh, get back on the road. Okay, now we have traction again. All right, this is a very interestingly designed car. Like, it has those bulbous things on the side. Whoa! Oh, that was actually... Are, those, are that what those are for? To prevent it from flipping over? It totally works! Oh, that's awesome! Look at that! Wait, what are those? Whoops. All right, we got rid of one. We got rid of one of the side things. Let's see if it actually flips over now. Although we might not even be able to go fast enough. We lost some of our thrust and maybe some of our engine power. Eh, eh. Okay, well, this side works. Uh oh, now we, can't, now we can't turn at all. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to turn left. Eh, there we go. Wow. Okay, so confirmed. Those big things on the side are anti-flip devices. So by stunt car, is that what is that the intent here? Is it supposed to it's supposed to be able to go up on two wheels and kind of slide a little bit? I think the stunt car aspect is riding on two wheels. Eh, come on. Come on, there we go. I wonder how long I can hold it for. If I just keep turning, I shouldn't just be able to keep holding it. Oh, but then the dirt ruins it. I'm gonna try to go all the way around this circle on two wheels. Alright. We just need to get enough speed. All right, go, 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 go. There we go. Go, turn, turn, turn. Keep keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Look at this. It's working. This is actually working. I am actually really surprised that this is working as well as it is. Woo! All right, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I think you deserve the name Stunt Car. You're not doing flips or anything. But not many cars actually do the whole standing on two wheels as easy as this thing does. And this thing seems built for it. So let's get on to another creation. Okay, so that's apparently the newest one. Let's see what the most popular one is. What is this? <laughs> for Scrap Man by The Whale. All right, I really, I don't, I don't know what this is even supposed to be, but that's the point of the video. Just spawn in whatever my name's attached to for whatever reason. Okay, so what? It's not even symmetrical. What is? No, no, wait, what is happening? What? That's it? That It doesn't, it. <laughs> I don't get, so with my turning control, A does that, D does that, and then space brings them back in. Why? What is the, I. I don't understand. We turned. Oh, wait. Is that how it's supposed to actually turn? No. Okay. This just got interesting. Wait. What is happening now? Okay. So, if I want to turn left, I press A. And that actually works. Okay. This just went from, like, complete derp to, like, actually, this is kind of cool. It actually works to turn that way. This is so cool. And I can go straight. And then I can turn left. And I can turn to the right. Okay, all right. I'm actually impressed. This this thing this thing uh, surprised me. It, it it broke my expectations. This is actually a pretty unique creation by the whale here. All right, this is getting interesting. Let's uh let's continue on and see what else shows up. All right, now I'm going to sort by subscriptions and we're going to see what shows up under my name. Okay, by Zachary Doodles. This is called Scrapman. To Scrapman, here's a modified version of your quadcopter. Have fun. Okay, I will have fun. 
All right, here we go. Let's see. Whoa, that is some massive torque. Okay, space to go up. All right, here we go. What's with the huge platform underneath, though? I guess that'd be good for, like, landing on stuff. Might be a little bit easier to land on things. All right, yeah, all the controls that I normally set up, which isn't really that unusual. Oh, wait, there's a detachable block. Hold on. T. There- Oh. Oh, I don't think that's how I'm supposed to detach it. Um, hold on a sec. Let's respawn here. So that's just the spawning platform, I'm pretty sure. Here, let's go back. All right, so now I press T to detach. And then, oh no, that is not... Okay, hold on. This is still... It's a little bit difficult to detach the thing. I'm gonna press space and detach at the same time. Go! That is also not the best way to do things. Go! Oh no, I'm taking the other one with me. <laughs> okay, there it goes. And detach. <gasps> there we go. All right. So was the platform the modification? Because I think this looks very similar to the one that I made too. But oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I, I know how to control my own creations. Yeah, so like by the looks of it, <laughs> this is such a weird, <laughs> it almost looks like it's hopping on its own rather than using the propellers. That's kind of funny. Oh, look at that. That was a good way to take off from the platform. So I think the platform is the main addition, but I'm not entirely sure what the purpose is. It doesn't say anything in the, in the description, but I'm glad you were inspired by the quadcopter that I made. All right, let's get on. And uh, I'm thinking out of sorting options now. So I'm just going to scroll through and see if I find anything that catches my attention. Okay, this is an interesting idea. This is uh, by Use. Area. So in Scrap Mechanic, I built a tumble dryer that just spawns in a bunch of balls as it spins and they all go flying everywhere and it was glorious. And apparently, uh, Euseria here has replicated that in this game. So let's go ahead and see how it works. All right, here it is. Oh, oh, it is. It's a little bit lopsided. You know what this thing needs though? <laughs> Hold on a second. This thing, this it's missing one key feature here. All right, now we've got the key feature, which is beach ball spawn. <laughs> this is not even a beach ball spawner. This is a beach ball shooter. Oh yeah, we can only have three beach balls at a time, I think. Oh, and they keep knocking me out of the seat too. Okay, so it doesn't, oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, it's actually kind of working until we spawn in anymore. <laughs> yeah, they literally keep knocking me out of the seat. Oh, there we go. All right, we got one stuck inside now. This is perhaps the quietest tumble dryer I've ever heard. I, I need to get me one of these. I especially like the oval shape of the uh, of the actual drum. All right, let's hop back into the workshop, see what else is going to turn up. Okay, this is called Double Stick Double the Fun by Chicken, and the description says, No scrap, man, you cannot shoot yourself. Now, if you've been paying attention on the channel, uh, in one of my best builds, anything that had a cannon, I tried to blow myself up with it, and uh, said that that's just what I'm gonna do every single time that there's a cannon on it. So, challenge accepted. Let's see if we can blow ourselves up with this thing. Not your typical WASD controls. Okay. Okay, Chicken. Let's see how this thing actually goes. What? I am so confused right now. Oh, okay, so it's W, S for the left wheels, E and D for the right wheels. Okay, so it's basically like tank steering. I tried to do tank steering before and it didn't work nearly this well. Yeah, this tank steering is super effective. I had issues with like the, the engines not triggering when I felt like they should. Maybe I just wired things wrong. I don't know. But yeah, this is working amazing. Look at this. <laughs> All right, left shift. Oh, we also have space, or we also have thrust too. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, we lost a wheel. Or we lost something, not a wheel apparently. Oh, no, 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 turn. Ugh. Okay, so apparently we should be able to shoot with space. All right, cool, there we go. Yeah, so it has an alternating cannon. So what do you mean we can't shoot ourselves? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this theory to the test. Is there a sensor or something on this that's gonna stop me? Is this, are you gonna stop me here? Are you gonna stop me somehow? Um, I think I think I have overcome the challenge. I have totally blown myself up. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Perfect. <laughs> no problem. If you're gonna if you're gonna make a creation for me and say that I can't blow myself up or I can't shoot myself somehow, then um gonna have to you're gonna have to try harder. 
Yeah, yeah, easy mode. <laughs> easy mode. All right, but I want to take this thing off some jumps really quick because this is actually a pretty cool creation just on its own. All right, there we go. And... Oh, boy. Hey, that wasn't so bad. Uh, turn, Turning is, is... I have to learn how to turn on this thing while I'm going. It's not the easiest thing for me right now. Ooh, there goes most of the back of our creek. Can we, can we flip over? Good, good, good. All right, how about we go into the bowl here? Oh, that's not how that's supposed to happen. All right, well, we've tipped it over. We've destroyed it. We've done we've done all the bad things to it. I think just one more explosion and we're good. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what I wanted right there. All right, let's get back to the workshop. All right, so here's something pretty familiar looking here. This is called the Dizzy Marble by Dark Soul. It's a hover sphere inspired by Scrapman that actually works. Hope you don't get seasick. So a long time ago, I tried to create a hover ball it was a lot smaller than this one is, I think. But the hover pads had trouble uh, keeping it up off the ground. So let's see if this one uh, performs any better. Whoa. It moves. Is that the secret? Is the rotating stuff the secret? Oh man, look at this thing. This thing's awesome. This is really, really cool. Space is the only control. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then the space, uh, it just points us in the direction that our seat is move or our seat is uh, facing. And then we can use, it looks like just the WASD seat controls themselves allow us to tilt the seat in whatever direction we want to. They aren't even programmed into any of the mechanisms. Everything's just free floating. And can we turn around? And we turn around, come on, come on. This thing, this thing is very, very well done. This thing works so good compared to mine. <laughs> Here, let me actually see if I can find mine. We'll do a, we'll do a side by side comparison. There we go. All right, so I have a big one and a small one. Here is the big one. Here is the small one. So we can see all of them next to each other. So his is actually even larger than my large hover sphere. So yeah, see, this is what mine does. Yeah, see, I even have the same kind of mechanism on the inside where the thrusters were supposed to have us go in any particular direction. So it looks like the key was those moving hover pads. Yeah, and then this small one, this small one was just super weird. Yeah, yeah, the small one doesn't work at all either. Now, I, 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 oh, oh, let me out, please. Please let me out. There we go. Yeah, and then look at this thing. This thing keeps us up no problem. Oh, and I just realized, oh, he has a bunch of weight on that one side. So this one actually isn't designed to roll. It's designed to stay upright. Because look at all the weight on the bottom there of the uh, spinning hover pads. So that might also be a, a factor as well. Interesting. All right, well, well done on this. You built something I, tr I tried and failed at. All right, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, here we go. Scrapman Skateboard Refurbished by Kilo. He says he's redone it to have better functionality and shape closer to his skateboard. So I'm actually going to try to find my skateboard as well. And then we can compare these ones next to each other too. Where are my skateboards? There we go. So I think he redid the large one. So there's mine. Now let's spawn his in. And, uh, oh, structure is too complex. I got to make it a different structure. Hold on. Okay. And then here is the redesign. All right, check it out. So this might actually be interesting because this was made way before one of the more recent updates. I don't know when this one was made. So here, let's just do a refresher on what mine's like. I think the servos are going to be way too, um, way too weak now because the update made them weaker. And I don't think this has been updated since the update. But let's see how... I'm just going to try to do a kickflip off of this ramp over here. And we're just going to see how it goes. And then we'll try his. All right, here we go. Kickflip. So as you can see, definitely not strong enough. His redesign, you can definitely see the shape difference. His, the lips of his skateboard are way steeper than mine. Oh, he got suspension on the wheels down there too. That's going to be interesting. Whoa, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here it goes. And kickflip. Oh, uh, looks like this one was also made before the new update. So all we got to do is add some strength to these things i think this is actually a good place for those as well all right there we go that's what i'm talking about whoa i was really surprised nothing broke there i didn't even hear a collision noise with the ground that was awesome i guess the suspension's helping all right and look at that this thing's way more stable i don't know why but doing kickflips on a giant skateboard and trail makers is like 
one of the most fun, satisfying things to do. And I, I'm just really, really happy that this one doesn't break on every landing. <laughs> oh, and then that happens. All right, I think I got time for one more and I'm gonna choose this one. <laughs> it's called I Want Taco by Bemerson and it says it's for me. So I, I have, it's a penguin and presumably a taco. I have no idea what the point of this is. That looks like an angry penguin too. And that beak is way too big. But hey, I'm not gonna judge. Let's see, let's let's give it a chance here. Let's see what it's gonna do. All right, here it is. Um, I want taco. Wait, we have, we have no controls. There, there's literally no controls on this thing. This is, <laughs> this is just an angry penguin reaching for a taco. That's what the creation is. And it's called I Want Taco. And for some reason, this was made for me. I don't think penguins or tacos have had anything to do with the channel, like, ever. Is this- is there a reference here that I'm not getting from my own channel? Um, if you guys- if you guys understand this, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, this is the most nonsensical thing I could have imagined. <laughs> And that's why it was worth spawning in. I want taco. The more I look at it and just think the words I want taco, the funnier it gets. <laughs> All right, so I think this is uh, definitely a high note to end on right here. Uh, leave a like if you want taco as well. And if this episode was entertaining to you and you want to see the same thing but in scrap mechanic instead, then go ahead and check out this video right here. The creations were just as creative as the stuff that you see here. Anyway, I hope this video has earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.